laziness, unwillingness, failure. These are the consequences when a person is not motivated. So I want to take a look at this picture. Here we can see a beggar and a successful person. They used to be classmates. However, the road to success started to diverge. But I wonder how did it happen because they had the same teacher, they had equal opportunities, but one indeed achieved his goal, but second one is hardly making a living. It all starts here, within the classroom. For, and in order to, for me to understand better why there is lack of motivation within the students, I conducted a survey within my school, and unsurprisingly, all the answers were the same. Everyone stated that they are not motivated, they feel that they can do better, and that they are lazy. However, I found one thing that was common everywhere. Uh, it was the thing that everyone says that rules are strict. However, we cannot mm, cancel out rules because it will cause immense lack of discipline within the school. Students will come and go wherever they want, and this will be a bigger trouble. So, how do we deal with them? Basically, from the very start of the school, from the first grade, second grade, we need to have a lesson that will teach us why playing on our smartphone is actually bad for us and not for the teacher. Because when you not pay attention to what teacher is explaining, basically you miss out on something, and this something will be on the test and you will not be able to do it. And this is a problem, which leads to a second problem. Students believe that when they are working for the several nights, uh, and their work is valued maybe at one or two, they think that anyway they are getting a low mark. And this is a problem within the school, which can be fixed, because sometimes teachers put me a low grade when I actually tried really hard. But I think it would be better that they explained to me why did I get this low mark and how can I overcome this problem. So, here we go on another problem. Actually, teachers and students don't have a relationship outside the classroom. And under relationship, I mean that they should communicate more. Communicate on how students should improve. For example, after the test, uh, my a teacher should come to me and tell me that I can do better, I did this wrong, and I must do it. Uh, however, we do otherwise. We speak to our parents, and my mom telling me that I should do something will basically not make me more motivated, neither to make me a better student. Third problem lies within the classroom itself. Sometimes my friends turn out to be better teachers than the actual ones, because they, they explain to me in my language, which I can understand. But if you take a close look, friends in the classroom have almost the same marks. And it's a psychological fact that if people around you are doing good, you will also do better. However, I'm not, uh, I didn't use actually to be friends with some top uh, students. And I think it was the problem that there were no such activities that would promote our friendship and actually uh, help us to teach us how to collaborate with uh, each other. The first pro problem is that sometimes we do not realize why we started this subject. So I want to be a business manager, for example, and I don't understand why I need biology or physics or chemistry. But then I thought and realized that if you consider yourself as an educated person, you must have at least some basic knowledge in this subject, because it will not make you a great painter if you don't know anything except art. Uh, so, also, I want to sum up all my ideas on how to fix uh, the problem within the school. So, the first problem and the solution is that we need to have something that, is, that helps students to express themselves in front of our uh, school principal, principal, because sometimes we think that rules w which uh, they change are actually bad for us. So if each representative from the class will represent his ideas in the uh, school parliament, uh, then maybe the uh, rules will be amended in such a way that will satisfy the students' needs. The second problem 
that I found fix to is that there must be student and teacher relationship and actually it will improve the student's performance because the teacher will give him confidence to do better and he will actually believe that he is not that bad in that subject. The third problem when student does not have any type of background knowledge when he comes to school, the school must provide him with lessons that will enable him to do uh, the, those exercises that he missed out. So he will catch up with those students who are on the top and he will gain this uh, su you know, sufficient uh, self-confidence. And the last problem uh, on which your school cannot do anything is the problems within the family. So, because when, if my parents came to my house and I, th I saw that they are actually not motivated at all, I would be like them because parents are our role models and it would be rude from school to interfere in the family affairs. So, lastly, I want to say that the motivation is key to every success and we need to stay motivated no matter what. Thank you for your attention.